Okay, here we go folks. This is now the Traxxas X Max uh, 8S, but I'm running on 6S. But uh, the goal tonight for this particular video is to test and check the uh, brightness, the luminosity of this uh, LED kit. What we have on top is a 44 LED light bar, which is meant for a 10 scale actually, but um, I happen to have a spare one hanging around, so I decided to mount it on top. So. <laughs> In fact, uh, the width is just nice for this uh, top part of the X-Max here. Uh, on the front, we have one red each on the side, and then we have uh, white eight pieces on the front. And then on the back, we have six red LEDs on the back here, uh, highlighting the X of the X-Max, which is pretty cool. Um, so, this should be pretty neat to be captured on video. I'll be doing some jumps later on, hopefully way over there in that uh, dark area. I've got uh, something special set up. So, but we'll run 6S first on the X-Max uh, with this light kit on just to see how it looks on camera at the car park right now. Okay, here we go. So I'll go to the dirt track in a while, but here let's just see how the truck looks like uh, with the light uh, coming towards the camera. Okay. It's pretty bright, eh? truck now has uh, TSM fully off. I'm not running TSM at all. Uh, I've adjusted the preload a little bit because I, I want to do some jumps later on. Uh, but I've still not solved this uh, squeaking problem. I don't know what it is. So maybe if anybody can chime in and help out. Okay, so this is uh, 6S here on the car park. We'll go to the dirt track in a while. Okay, so let's just uh, pause the video for a second and uh, the next thing you'll see me at the track. Okay folks, here's just a general idea of the throw of the light. Um, it's not fully dark here, as you can see there's some ambient light around me. But um, I'm just trying to adjust the, the beam. Probably a portion of it is being blocked by the bonnet. But you can see that there's some throw on the front here. And the tree is... Uh, light it up as well so you see the tree here it's not lighted up I'm going to bring the truck back you can see the tree lighted up so it's pretty cool so it's got a it's got a pretty big range on uh, on, on on the lights here so I'm gonna turn the truck exactly facing the tree that's a good uh, what maybe five meters five to seven meters towards the tree it's pretty awesome so let's uh, bring it to the track So it, the, the throw of the light probably could be adjusted closer to the ground by mounting the light further to the front. But it's alright, for me it's just a little bit of uh, light on the truck helps with the shooting of the video at night. And uh, a little bit more visual appeal to the look of the truck. That's pretty much it. It doesn't have to be fully functional, but if it could, it'd be great. Okay, let's go. There you go, that's how bright it is. It's nice, man, it's bright. Stick it further down and just turn it around slowly. Go slow, 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 slow. Slow, 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 slow. Bring it around here on the grass patch. 
it's, it's pretty neat for some uh, for some uh, some work at night for some driving at night check out the three backing it up 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 it's still lighting up the tree backing it up backing it up backing it up right about here you still see the brightness on the tree it's pretty cool huh so it works for a kit I think the, the light bar is about US 24 25 dollars the uh, the Gould RC 4 white 4 red is only about 250 US dollars 2 dollars 50 cents Truck around. Let's gun the throttle a little bit, hopefully. donuts here
Okay, it's pretty cool in this area here. You get a nice effect on the truck, on the road, on the things around you. Yeah, just bring it around, facing the reservoir on the other side. It's a pretty cool look here. I'm going to bring it to the, to the other uh, dirt area which I usually go during the daytime but now it's night I um, just want to have a sense of uh, what I can and cannot see in this area yeah it's not good that's the tree it's a small tree that I smashed the truck on the other day see here it's a uh, very very low light I'm gonna take my tactical light on so this night call flashlight you can see the beam here added to the truck I could try and hold it together to index probably not come just gonna turn off this light and see how it goes with just really slow driving It could be brighter. It could be brighter. Definitely it could be brighter. But at this level for the price, I think it's alright. It definitely can be brighter in extremely dark places, but with some ambient street light, like here, I'm just gonna turn the truck around some ambient light it looks great I mean you get to see a truck a little bit better so overall experience with this uh, lighting system is better only problem is uh, you have to open up the receiver box and put a Y splitter for some of the lights uh, the light bar wires is too short you probably need an extension so right now I'm running it <laughs> quite tightly on the inside so uh, hopefully I can get the extension soon just gonna walk backwards and get the truck on camera so if you think uh, the lights might work for you go ahead give a thumbs up to the video all right i'm gonna sign out right here Birdo reservoir park x max on 6s running 6s today okay thank you very much for watching monster x i'll see you razor signing out